Hi, I'm Nick Morrow with CJSElectric7.com and today I want to show you how to use a GFCI outlet. First thing you'll need is a GFCI outlet tester and a little common sense. That's what I'm here for today to teach you a little knowledge about a GFCI. Most GFCIs are found where there's water in the area. This is a kitchen and it is near the kitchen sink. GFCIs are to protect people from getting electrocuted if water should come in contact with any of your appliances or electrical outlets. This particular one, you can see, it has an indicator light, it has a test and a reset button. This tester will see, will test the GFCI, make sure it's has the proper power. The two green lights indicate that it has 120 volts in the proper grounding. Now what happens is we touch push the GFCI button and it trips this GFI and everything downstream of it should now be dead. It is not working. This is a safety issue. It is very sensitive outlet it trips at 0.5 milliamps which will not allow anyone to get electrocuted. The reset button once we've tested it will allow it to come right back on. If it continues to trip out contact your local electrician because you either have a bad GFCI outlet or there's something downstream that's making it trip out. I'm Nick Mara with cjselectric7.com and that's how you use a GFCI outlet. Thank you.